Hello, and welcome back to a slightly different episode. Today we are working on my dad's van, aren't we? My van. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a beast of a motorhome behind us. So last week we fitted a big solar panel to your van. We did. Uh, how big is that? 320 watts. It's a beast, isn't it? Yeah. Massive. Um, but now we have, we've got to wire it in. Airplane. So all we've got to do today is wire it in. And thanks to John at Alpha Batteries, he has supplied us with a Smart Solar Victron charge controller and a Victron battery monitor. This is the S, this is the 712, the 712 Smart Battery Monitor. So that's what we're going to do now. Cool. You ready? Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> so I'm in my parents' camper van right now and we are going to attempt to fit this solar charge controller. It's amazing. I really want this in my van now. I don't have one. Anyway, excuse the mess because we've taken everything out of the cupboards and things. Right, but this is the battery compartment down here next to the trimmer boiler. We installed these batteries not too long ago. They're, there's two, they're both 110 amp hours, so they've got, yeah, 220 amp hours. And currently they've only got one, they, they only had a 100 watt panel on the roof. Now they've got 320 which is going to do these two batteries and the 100 watt small panel they've got is going to do the starter battery. This is what they had before, they had one of these cheap MWM controllers, so that's just going to do the starter battery, keep that topped up now. So yeah, we're going to install this inside this battery cupboard. Probably going to go uh, somewhere here. I'm probably not going to film much of this. I'll probably just fit it all with my dad and uh, to give you a bit of a walk around walk through tell you, tell you how we did it at the end oh dear this video is gonna be all over the place so we still got to sort out all the wiring make, make it all nice and neat but you can see it there installed got some pretty lights flashing I'll tell you what we're doing right now You're not going to be able to see that because the screen's flashing. So it's a 320 watt panel because of the clouds and things. This is all we're getting right now. Not bad. But we're about to start messing around with the battery monitor and the shunt. So... It, it, so it's all plugged in, it's all working. Just need to neaten up all the cables because they are a bit messy right now. But let me show you. That's the solar charge controller, the smart charge. And this is the shunt for the battery monitor, which is up here. Which is up here above their door. So yeah, I need to synchronize it. When, when, when we know the batteries are fully charged, I'll synchronize this to 100%. But it's working, it's all working. And the good thing about these is that it's, they're all Bluetooth. So my dad has now downloaded the app onto his phone and you can just select what you want to view. You want to view the smart solar charge controller or you want to view the battery, excuse me, the battery monitor. So jealous, I want this in my van so badly. I really need a new smart uh, solar charge controller because mine isn't quite big enough for what I've got. But all right, so a little bit tidier in here now. Show me, show you again. You've seen the where the uh, solar sort of charge controller is. This is where the battery monitor is above their door here. Batteries are on one hundred percent. Let me get you in a bit closer. Batteries are one hundred percent. That's how long how long you can run the batteries at this current draw, infinity. That's the battery voltage, and that's the amps. This tells you how many amps are going in or how many amps are being taken out. So if I turn on all, all the lights, you get the point. The thing I like the most is their battery monitor and their solar charge controller have got Bluetooth on, so you just need to get the app and then you can view all those things from the app. I'll show you here. So I don't know if, it's, if the screen's going to be flickering. It looks like it might be. But yeah, you can see this is the solar charge controller, smart charge, and this is the battery monitor. So if we go into the battery monitor, you can see that the state of charge is 100%. And you've got all the ratings here. You can see how many amps are going into the battery, etc. Can you even see that? I don't even know if you're going to be able to read this. Let's just go to the solar. solar. 
So you can see with the, with the current sun and cloud situation, we're only getting a 63 watts in. 4.3 amps are going into the battery. So the panel is picking up 1.7 amps, but the solar charge controller is boosting it up to 4.4 amps. <sighs> Obviously, there's no... There's, if you look out the window, there's this cloud. Not really, not really any direct sunlight, so... Be interesting to see when it's got direct sunlight on it how much that panel picks up because it is big it's a big old panel so as predicted i didn't film very much of that install it's always difficult and quite embarrassing to be honest when you start filming in front of your friends or your family don't often film with other people watching me but when i do it's quite embarrassing <laughs> anyway uh the products yeah it's so easy to install it's so simple and it's just it's all they're almost plug and play really it's just the only tricky bit is finding routes for the cables to go. But it's been a couple of weeks now since we installed them. And I've been up to see them a few times. They've been away in the van and yes, everything's working so well. Batteries are full all the time now with that panel. And they've just, they've got as much power as they, as they need. 320 watts is probably fine for what they need. I've got 300 watts on the roof of my van and it's all I ever will need, I think. Quite easy to wire. This solar charge controller is four cables, positive and negative from your solar, positive and negative to the batteries. The battery monitor is a little bit more fiddly, but not too difficult really. You just have to put the shunt between, in between the negative of the battery and all the negatives for everything in the van. Um, it's quite simple really. Uh, you can always click on this link up here and go and watch my electrics run through so you can get an idea on how to wire in the shunt and the battery monitor. But Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. Alexa's talking to me, goodness sake. Once again, big thank you to John from Alpha Batteries. I really love the products from Alpha Batteries. My batteries that I got from them are just still going superbly well, and I love them. So yeah, I'll always use them in the future. So make sure you click on the link in the description. Go and check out all their products. Yeah, all right, well, thank you for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.